Hi, Aquarius. So, you guys kind of lost it at the beginning of the month. I told you that you would put the receipts together. I told you you'd see what was going on. I didn't think that you guys would go as ham as you did. But, hey, you have the right. If you find out that somebody is, you know, um, not on the up and up with you, doesn't feel about you the way you feel about them, that you've been betrayed, you've been hurt, you've been lied to, of course, you're within your rights. But man, you guys are harsh when you're upset, huh? So now, of course, you will feel the karmic retribution of that energy a little bit. And so what I would say just to open is that you should be really careful. You should be really careful for the next like three weeks. Just, you just, you know, it, the, the chances of getting sucker punched by someone that you don't even know is looking to, you know, beat the hell out of you are high. And that could be in terms of work. It could be something, you know, emotional and financial. It could be, uh, someone who has an enormous amount of control over you and has lied to you for a very long time and has somehow uh, gotten back into your good graces and is still lying to you. The magician figure there. And the king of wands being associated with authority and someone who's in a father figure role for you, who is... Um, duping you it seems like again so <clears throat> it looks like you got the receipts you figured out what was going on and then did you get talked back into it that's what it looks like it looks like you got talked back into it that's okay everybody has their own process everybody takes the time that it takes them to figure out who is genuine and who is not um, this is a scary month to try to be figuring that out because you have to be careful with yourself. There are elements right now that are, uh, the way those energies are directed at you, the angles at which they're coming in, people who don't like you, people who wish you harm will be encouraged. So it would behoove you this month to wrap yourself in protective light when you wake up in the morning, pray, meditate, stay centered, work out, don't creep, don't stalk, don't lie, don't take advantage, don't cheat, you'll get caught, um, don't sign any legal papers, you'll get taken for a ride, don't believe someone who is obviously still lying but somehow has the ability to get past your cynical sort of question everything uh nature i don't know how they do it or or what the the magic trick is there but <laughs> they're doing it and you're falling for it and it's a uh, king of wands it has everything to do with a father energy it has everything to do with trying to heal some sort of trauma that is based more in the father energy than it is in whatever you're currently going through. And this applies whether you're male or female, whether you're straight or gay or doesn't matter. It's about your relationship to your dad and how this magician person in your life right now is hitting those same buttons and opening those same wounds. And maybe that's why it's so hard to get rid of them. And then the king of wands turning into the knight of wands. So a reduction in that person's power, perhaps from your awareness that they are not uh, truthful and that they don't have your best interests at heart and that they are actually quite miserable and crumbling as a person. And had you on a road of crumbling as a person as well, interestingly. Uh, but for a while, you seem to really like that. And there is a part of you that would like to revisit that. And if it means that that person is diminished and you are diminished as well, I think you're willing to accept that. I think you're willing to accept that sacrifice. However, 
I would question your motivations right now because I don't think you're thinking clearly. I think you know that you are in a pretty threatened position. I think you know that you need to keep your head down and just work right now, but you are a stubborn sign and you uh, like to control things. So uh, the need, the desire, the deep, deep, you know, like uh, clawing at you desire to want to control the situation, to want to confront, to want to fight, to want to resolve, to want to get to the um, get to the bottom of it. I was going to say, but really, it's about winning. You just want to win, and instead, excuse me while I try to pick up this card, oh, and almost fall down. And instead of winning, what it looks like ends up happening is that you ultimately have to decide that you have to leave. We've been talking about this so much. And the reason, oh, okay. And the bottom of the deck is <clears throat> the Eight of Cups. And then underneath that is the Death card. So it is true that Aquarians find it really difficult to let go. It is true that they will stay in situations that are not good for them because uh, out of like a sense of like sort of fixed sign loyalty, if you will. Um, Tauruses do it too. Leos do it too. Scorpios do it too. You know, you're not alone in that. But <clears throat> right now, what it looks like is that you... Uh, I mean, you take a look at it yourself and you tell me what you think. From what I can tell, it looks like you are being asked to let go over and over and over again until you acquiesce. And what's keeping the entire sort of facade in play <clears throat> is this person's affinity or somehow their, their resemblance to your paternal figure, even though you've become well aware that they're nowhere near uh, that good or that great or that, you know, should, shouldn't be that revered. They're much less of a person. However, um, the need to somehow prove yourself to this person, gain this person's affection, win. That's what I keep like feeling. It's like you want to win. And the more you keep trying to aggress on the situation and win the situation back, win the situation over, have it do what you want it to do, control the situation, the more the situation is becoming devolved, miserable, and moving away from you. So there is a very, very strong sense, uh, perhaps on their part or on yours, but it's very uh, imbalanced. So either you or the other person has become so convinced that they were miserable in the situation and they've convinced themselves that it was you that was making them miserable and you've convinced yourself that it was them that was making you miserable but the consensus being that was so miserable that we need to get away from it we need to get away from it in our own ways you getting away by you know taking what you can thought wise from it that was beneficial and moving away and them leaving behind the cups that you guys had filled together and moving away resulting in obviously an extremely painful and yet growth inducing experience being the death card. So death and rebirth being facilitated by the knowledge gained and the receipts found last month and now the ensuing back and forth that happens as something cracks apart. Of course, after you found the receipts, lost it, there was going to be this repentant sort of um, dishonest coming back and trying to perhaps ensnare you in the same game and that energy indeed does persist here and this is an controlling earth energy that really wants to dupe you back into a situation where you really have no worth but somehow your <clears throat> material surroundings are of need to them 
which is part of why you should get away from them. The larger part of why is just because the need to examine the King of Wands figure is much greater than whatever you're seeking to gain from winning uh, the affection or affirmation of someone who is just a pale shadow of what you're really looking for. And w instead of what you're looking for, what you end up finding is uh, ego death, but then also the other person, the, the death of your ego feeding their ego. So it's very vampiric what's going on here, right? This person would like to keep you in the throes of misery, one, because they're miserable, but two, because your misery feeds them and actually makes them better while you continue to drop. And the way out, the way out being cutting yourself out of a situation which again comes up so clearly as being a situation that is not just yours. Uh, the cards speak here to your nature as an Aquarian. You are not one for sharing. You may have your own dalliances, but you are definitely not one to share. And here, what's being represented, starting off, you know, right out of the gate with you are being deceived, is a larger pattern that will emerge for you with this person, who you're really beginning to see for what they really are. And the pattern being that their vices their particular modalities for self-medicating, if you will, their penchant for, uh, oh, let's say roaming, the roaming eye, the roaming hands, all of it, the, all of the stuff that you associate with this figure here is something that you will have to make a reality of your life if you choose to keep pursuing this person who pretends, who is pretending, who is pretending to do one thing while they're doing indeed another. And so they would like to pretend that they are quite a noble and courageous figure. And yet the reality is so different and the reality of them will leave you Again, so hurt and so broken, but I understand your need to want to put the work into it because it is your nature. It is what makes you you. However, what you are contending with, if, you, if it is the king of wands whose affirmation you are actually seeking, then it is the queen of wands that becomes your greatest nemesis. Here you have a classic example of someone searching for something on the wrong road and who they end up encountering on the wrong road towards this thing they think they want is the person whose road uh, they have accidentally wandered onto. This is what I mean about be careful. There is a very obvious conflict brewing here and it is physical. This is somebody who wants to take a swing at you. This is somebody who would love to hit you. And if they find you, they will hit you. Now, I'm not exactly sure what's happened between you and this person, but the Three of Cups is a pretty good indication, and so is the Three of Swords. And I have a feeling that both parties are experiencing both of these emotions and are waking up to the same realities that you were all part of the same debauched sort of lecherous plan that had nothing to do with either of you. However, the way these energies are fluctuating the way these waves are coming in if you will the way these waters are flowing uh, I would suggest uh, like I said put your head down and work and uh, avoid 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 this scenario as much as you possibly can because there is a strong indication here for you to be in the path of somebody who's got like quite a lot against you, but they're also just angry about the situation and they have quite some power in the situation. So not someone that you want to control, not someone you can control, more importantly. Be careful. The way that you like to deal with people, Aquarius, this month, I would say just take like a social step back. 
We don't need to be all up in everything all the time, every month with everyone. Sometimes for our own safety and for our own peace of mind and for our own growth and the ability to get away from what's not good for us, we need to take a step back and let people and situations be. Very important. Especially when you have these cards coming up like this, very, very important to heed, you know, the the signs. Right? It's, um, this is something that for you, of course, can manifest as a romantic situation, but also something that can be triggered by work. This is something that can be triggered by promotion. Um, right now, the outside earth influences in your life are distracting you from what is a really, really important time in terms of work. And you see how your work is just getting kind of shoved into the corner because all this drama is taking center stage. And I just don't understand why, because it's all just meaningless drama. You already figured out what's going on. You already figured out how it happened. You already figured out how bad you got, like, you know, the situation was or how bad, like, you were treated. So why are these things still center stage? You already know these things. These are moot points. You know, it's so after the fact right now, Aquarius, like we get it. This is a very painful situation. You know, um, it was miserable to start off with whether you want to admit that or not, and you're quite relieved to be out of it. And yet still, this is what's persisting in your mind. And somehow that person is still holding court, you know, in your thoughts and has quite some say over you. But um, you're well aware of their level of dishonesty. And you're quite aware of uh, their machinations. and you're even pretty well aware of who you're being pitted against. And yet this is not what we're focusing on. We're focusing on everything but the one energy that you truly need. And you can see how the pentacles begin to lessen. You know, we're going from this eight of pentacles to the six of pentacles because your focus isn't where it should be. So let's pull some outcome cards, but also let's get the obvious stuff out of the way. Death card if you have a Scorpio in your life. The Devil card if you have a Capricorn in your life. Strength card if you have a Leo in your life. The Star if you are dealing with another Aquarius as an Aquarius. And the Magician if you are dealing with anyone who is known or who you know for having the effect of being able to sweet talk you. These are the elements that are really focused on you this month. What are you focused on? You're focused on how to uh, be cognitively dissonant this month. You're focused on how to know exactly what's going on and yet not want to say it. And the card's coming in and saying, no, actually, you know what? You're going to have to say it. No more cognitive dissonance. You know what it is and you have to call it out and say it the way it is. But just be really careful who you're calling out and when. Uh, take great care and understand that um, this is a situation that only works to your benefit if you were in the right. If you start calling people out just because you're angry or you're jealous or you're being weird or you feel threatened, there is a very good chance that that Queen of Wands energy is going to catch you. But this applies to the Magician. This applies to the death card, to the devil, to the five of pentacles, to the messages coming in that are obviously not true, uh, to the situation that you know was uh, disrespectful to you and you have been talked in and out of it several times, but now the card's saying, can you please put your foot down about this and just be honest about what happened and move forward and call it how it is instead of keeping this inside and looping about it and going nuts and not saying how it is so everyone knows. Um, and it's also a way of saying that is what is going to happen. So you may as well get out in front of it. You may not want to say it how it is, but it's going to get said how it is. So because it's going to get said how it is, you should get out in front of it. Now, 
This is also saying that you have in your own way already said how it is, haven't you? You've already gone through the process of <clears throat> doing this once, of finding the receipts, like I said at the beginning of the video, of finding the receipts, of letting people have it. You have done this. However, that's why the reading opens with the magician card, because the magician energy was able to come back in and sort of burn all those receipts and get rid of all the evidence and talk you back into, you know, a scheme. And now the judgment card coming up is saying, you know, there's only so much talking out of it that you can have. Um, before, you know, karma steps in and takes care of it. You can't be deceived forever. You can't be fooled forever. And it's a good thing that this is coming in the way it is because you really do want to focus on this Eight of Pentacles. It's bothersome to me that there's so few Pentacle cards out because this is a really, really important time for you in terms of progress and in terms of money and career. So why is there so few material elements represented and the ones that are represented are of questionable nature? Why is that? Because even though you have all this money energy being thrown at you, you are not focused. And so you are not receptive to it. You are not able to receive it. What I would suggest is get out of the way of this confrontational energy which, you know, you got to be careful with this fire sign energy. This fire sign energy likes to hit people. It gets off on it. You know, get out of the path of that aggression that's being directed at you and put yourself on this solitary, somewhat, you know, hidden, covered path of doing your job and, you know, reaping the rewards. Because uh, this may seem quite colorful, but this is all just drama. You knew coming into the month that this is what you should do. Just because the magician was able to talk you out of it doesn't make any of this legitimate or valid. This is still just as, you know, meaningless or uh, useless, let's say, as it was, you know, seven or eight days ago, as it was when you found out what was going on and you let that person have it or you let the situation have it. Nothing has changed except that you went back on it and now you have to reiterate it and, and, and say it again. That's all that's happening here. And when you're able to do that, you'll be able to bypass all of this instead of letting it take up your whole month. And instead, you'll be able to focus on this guy who's all by himself. And then it's, you know, that's also what this is saying. All of this is bearing down on him. And he's just trying to focus and get his work done. And that's exactly what you're supposed to be doing. And that's how you may be feeling about all of this that's going on in your life. You may feel like, you know, why is this kind of nonsense bearing down on me when I have legitimately so much good stuff going on and so much to do. Uh, why do I have to keep taking time for this? Why are, why do people have this kind of time that they can sit around and deceive me? Why do people have the kind of time to stalk me? Why do people have the kind of time to go out of their way and be mean to me and, you know, throw, um, as in Hindi we say, throw in Urdu we say, um, throw rocks in someone's path, you know? So... <clears throat> Why is someone doing this to me? Why, why, why? Well, uh, quite honestly, because there is a part of you that's entertaining it. There is a part of you that was engaged in that power struggle. There was a part of you that liked the drama. There was a part of you that liked this competition because you thought you were going to win. And now winning has become a moot point. I know that's what's looping in your head. I want to win. I want to win. I want to win. But I think winning has become a moot point. I think that the loss of whatever it was that you were trying to gain, I think you know that that thing is gone. I don't think this person has it either. I just think that it's gone. I think the loss has already happened. So what is it that you're trying to win? An empty competition of some sort. And if you, if you walk down that road of empty competitiveness, I think what you're going to find is uh, hurt, trauma, pain, and someone who's quite good at inducing it. So be careful. Say the things that need to be said. Call the people out who have been genuinely bad to you. Don't let them talk their way back into your naivete and childlike innocence. They're not worth it. They don't deserve it. Say things the way they are or all of this swallows up your month and your ability to really manifest more and more money for yourself just flies away for no reason. And we definitely don't want to do that. Okay, let's see the bottom of the deck so we have some idea of what we'll be looking at in the extended. 
So we have Page of Wands, messages coming in. Nine of Swords, messages of quite a a uh, sad, painful nature, things that we're finding out, things that we're finding out about a Virgo in particular, who has been um, quite deceptive and their words have been quite painful. And what we're finding out about the Virgo has to do with a Virgo and a water sign. And that water sign being someone that this Virgo is somehow really deeply tied to someone that they've been mourning the loss of and can't seem to get over and can't stop thinking about. Someone they're heading to go see. And so it comes up again here, Seven of Pentacles. So aren't you, uh, do you see, do you see what happens when you get wrapped up in this, in other people's drama, in other people's things? When you find the receipts and you move on, you don't have to do this. But if you go down this road, you lose pentacles, you see? We'll look more at that in the extended and we'll do a whole new shuffle for mid-month and into mid-April. All right, Aquarius, I'm going to link everything below. There's an event April 8th in New York, which is an all-day tarot event, which should be really cool. And I am looking to do a retreat in Majorca later this summer. So if you're interested in that, please comment below and let me know that if you would like that. And all the extended readings have been moved to my website because YouTube no longer offers paid content. So if you go to my website, as soon as you get there, it'll say extended readings. You click on that and all the videos are there. They are available for instant watch, instant stream or download, whatever you like. And you can pay however you like from whatever country. All of that is available to you. Or you have the other option of buying it the old way, which there will be a Shopify link in the info box below. And you buy, you pre-order the extended and you wait and I send you the link. So either way, if you want to do it, uh, that's how the extendeds will be available. I'll leave my Instagram and my Twitter and my email and everything below as well. Instagram is the best way to keep in touch. And we have a lot of fun on Twitter, actually. So I will get into the extendeds now. They should be up on the site in about three or four hours, I would say. But if you go through the Shopify link, it is available immediately to pre-order. So you'll be getting them before it goes, it is uploaded because that takes longer. All right. I love you guys. This is a good reading. It's just very much full of warnings. And I actually like that because I find that this is the most helpful use of any sort of divination is like, let's see where the potholes are. And where the potholes are, are the things, uh, the, the weaknesses in your nature is what you need to watch. This need to win, this need to compete, even if it's at your own expense, in spite of yourself. You know, don't cut your nose to spite your face. Do not do that this month because the cut will be deeper than you think. Boom. All right. Love you. See you in April.